Hi everyone! Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm putting in this year's Halloween pinata. I purchased this pinata last year at Target. It was on sale for 90% off after Halloween. I only had to pay $1.50, so I was super excited about that. But this year I really wanted to focus on putting a lot of non-candy items in our pinata. So the first thing we're putting in, Play-Doh. Our girls love Play-Doh, and at our Halloween party this year, we're gonna have a lot of kids ages from one to five, so they're probably all going to love Play-Doh. And I did stock up on little bubble canisters after 4th of July, and so we have a lot of little bubble canisters. Glow sticks. I buy glow sticks in bulk, so I'm gonna be putting a ton of glow sticks in the pinata, enough for all the kids and parents to make sure that we have those when we're trick-or-treating. I love Target, so I definitely went through the dollar section and found these fun Halloween pencils. I also found some fun little spider rings. We have a pack of Halloween notebooks. Some fun Halloween bracelets. Our girls love craisins, so I'm gonna be throwing in a lot of craisin boxes. And we will have a lot of one and two year olds, and so I'm thinking Safety Pops was probably the way to go. I bought these on Amazon. Fruit snacks, we all love fruit snacks. And our girls love lollipops. They don't really like candy too much, but they do ask for lollipops occasionally, so I found these fun Halloween ring pops. Some ghostly gummies. Um, we don't really watch SpongeBob in our house, but I thought these were so cute. They're little gummy packs that you could build burgers out of, so that'll be really fun for the girls. We have an assortment of Disney lollipops. And things that I purchase in bulk, mostly for Easter, but I still have left over. We have jumpy froggies, so I'll be throwing in quite a few of those. Also left over from Easter, I have monster tattoos. And an assortment of stickers. We have a lot of sea stickers, some animal stickers, and dinosaur stickers as well. I may have overestimated the size of the pinata because this is all the stuff I wanted to put inside it and I don't think it's all going to fit. I hope everyone out there has a fun and safe Halloween and for more fun activities and toy reviews, please subscribe to my channel, Just Toy Reviews. See you next time.